this is just a quick follow-up video to my previous video that I posted on me recently setting some goals and if you didn't watch the video it's all about me um, finally posting my goals setting my goals putting in one place to review it took me five months to set goals for 2013 and beyond and what I did was really to um, to set my goals I held myself accountable through partners I set up a deadline or a timeline and I really set up some consequences and rewards for taking action and um, through that through thinking about my goals and my actions every action that I'm taking now with the goals in my mind I'm thinking is this what I'm currently doing taking me closer to my goals or is it taking me further away from my goals and that has been powerful because I'm meeting people now I'm seeing insights I'm seeing things that I usually don't see or I'm unaware of I'm reading things I'm hearing things um, that directly take me to my goal or somehow influence me to reach my goal or think about my goal in a different way it's powerful so write down your goals and, and um, things will start to happen but in, in a contrast to that, as I'm thinking about, I'm achiever oriented, I'm ambitious. I think about the physical world right now, physical material things that I desire. I think about emotions, relationships, career, personal, economical, money, things like that. On the same um, side, there's also a spiritual aspect to it, which I wanted to share with you in this video, this quick follow-up video. Um, I met with my spiritual teacher, I'll call him my teacher, and we didn't talk about goal setting directly. But we did talk about outcomes, results, um, and planning, and the ego. And there's things that I heard that directly apply to goal setting. So one thing is, don't be, as we set our goals, don't be too attached to the outcome. Because there are things that, are, that may be better than what we have desired. If we set a goal and we don't achieve it, we don't really know. There's, there could be something greater. Also, we can't really control the time when we achieve it. So, for example, if we're in a relationship or if we want to be in a relationship and we could only think about it this way, we expect the relationship to be this one way, but if it happens this way, <laughs> we're only going to get hurt if we're too attached to the outcome that we want. So it's important not to be too attached to the outcome. Um, it's important to be flexible, be able to adjust um, to what occurs, whatever happens, the situations. We have to have faith that things um, we'll get better and there are better things out there for us if one door closes there's another one open for us probably providing better opportunities we just need to stay aware and open um, flexible and be able to adjust also when we set our goals we need to enjoy the process you know it's cool to um, really focus on the results um, but we need to really enjoy it what's the point of goal setting if we want to get this car but we hate living every day and it's not cool and then we get this car, this physical thing. We don't really have a purpose. We don't really know why, but we just got it. We need to enjoy the process. It's very important. Uh, we also have to be in the present moment. This is an idea that I'm really um, thinking through because I'm thinking about my future, right? I'm, I'm reflecting on the past, but really we need to be in the present moment um, with our actions and what, how we're thinking. And we, we just really need to enjoy the present moment because all we can do right now is really feel in this moment. We can only act in this present moment. So those are just some ideas on the spiritual side related to goals that I wanted to share with you. There's a lot more, and I need to really articulate it better. I need to simplify it. But those are just ideas I wanted to update you with um, on goal setting and spirituality and things like that. So keep your head up. Continue moving forward. And I'll see you at the top.